My name is Josie Heath and I'm president of the Community Foundation which serves Boulder County and we do grant making in the arts, education, the environment, health and human services and civic and we also have some transformational leadership projects that I'm really proud about. I grew up in Oregon and um, I think two things about it. My experiences there, um, I lived in a rural agricultural part of the state and um, worked in the fields with a lot of other folks then. And I remember seeing migrant workers who did not finish the day when I did and slept in their cars beside the fields. And I get teary thinking about it, but it made a huge impact on me on how unjust it was. They had no place to sleep, no place to live. And when I was county commissioner, um, I helped develop Casa Esperanza because those memories sort of linger with you and you just feel like you need to do something to right that wrong. But, um, you know, my uh, mom said that, you know, when I was in Bluebirds, I was like in third grade, and, and, you know, I was elected the president of the Bluebird group. I just seemed to want to help everybody get things organized and get things done. I came to Boulder County in the way that I think many women discover new places, at least from my generation, is that you move there because your husband had a job. At that time we had two small children, we had now have three children, and uh, I loved being their mom, loved doing all those things, but I also needed to engage and to be involved with the community it was a wonderful kind of a mental health thing for me and, and a way to express uh, some uh, energy around things I really cared about. A key moment for me was being in the balcony of the United States Senate, looking down at this sea of suits, male suits, and because at that time there were only two women in the United States Senate. And I thought to myself, where are the mothers who are helping make a decision for all these things that we care about for our sons and our daughters? And it was a very profound moment for me because I was running for the United States Senate and I had lived in a place like Boulder County where a lot of women were involved. But when I actually visually saw the kind of seat of government and who was there and it was all these dark suits and I looked down and I thought where are our voices people would say to me well why are you doing these things I mean you've got a nice husband and you've got wonderful children and you know you've got a good life what why are you taking on these things and I realized that for me to be engaged um, it, it's almost like new love there's a chemistry that happens when you're excited and engaged in something that's just and and you feel like you could really work on to help make a difference. This year Raleigh and I will be married 48 years and um, and we've come through many different times in our personal lives where this juggling act was really challenging and um, but the kind of headline is it, it, you can make it work and figuring that out and figuring out that life balance is one of the things I think we all really still need to keep in mind that not only working on it for us but for the folks who are your employees and the other people you expect things from that that's a big important balancing act that we have to honor. You know I love um, Catherine Graham's quote when she says to love what you do and feel like it matters how could anything be more fun and um, I, I see things that just seem unjust and I feel like I want to help fix them but I don't feel like I can do it myself and so part of my core philosophy is to see if there are like-minded folks who are interested in making some good things happen and and working with them to help uh, accomplish some things that I think improve the place you are um, whether it's for specified groups like children or for its environmental preservation or so I guess my core philosophy is we're here, we have some talents, we need to use those, we need to give back, and we need to be open about being respectful, that there are lots of different ideas and folks who bring equal uh, and impo equally important ideas to the table, and we need to listen to all those to weave that fabric that's really strong and colorful and uh, binds us together.